Hi there, welcome back. Today I have a 15 minute lower body circuit for you. This is with one kettlebell. It's five exercises and they're all unilateral. So we're gonna do them all on one side of the body and then the other. And no rest, we're gonna go straight back to the first side. And then the second side, we're gonna do three rounds on each side. So follow along and they're just 30 seconds long each. So just transition as quickly as you can from one into the next. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And let's begin. Our first exercise is a contralateral racked split squat. So whichever hand the kettlebell is in, grab the front of the handle and bring your hand up to about your collarbone height. Keep your elbow mostly in by your side and forward slightly away from your body. Also don't rest your hand or the kettlebell on your collarbone, keep that slightly away from your body as well. Whichever hand the kettlebell is in, raise that leg up behind you and put it on a elevated surface, whether that be a chair or a couch or a step and then squat down low on the other leg. Make sure that your stance is wide enough that when you squat down, your knee doesn't extend past your toes. Great job, now transitioning into a single leg Romanian deadlift. So keep the kettlebell in that same arm, and that same leg that was back on the elevated surface in the split squat is also going to raise up off the ground behind you in this deadlift. Keep your hips and shoulders square, a nice flat back and hinge forward at the hips, knee bending slightly. Think of it as though somebody's pulling your hips backwards. So you want the kettlebell to be pretty close to your working leg on the way down and back up. Now moving into a reverse lunge, so keep the kettlebell in that same hand. The opposite leg stays planted on the ground and the leg that's on the same side as the kettlebell steps backwards into a reverse lunge. Keep your lats engaged, shoulders back and down, and your nose over your toes, so all of the weight stays centered in that front leg. Next up is the single leg hip thrust. So whichever leg is the opposite of the one that you're holding the kettlebell in, that leg stays on the ground. That's gonna be the working leg still. Prop yourself up on a chair or a couch, and you want it to make contact with your back just below the shoulder blades. Set the kettlebell on the hip of your working leg and your other leg is in the air. Knees are together and you're pushing up, getting full extension of the hips. Drive up through your heel, you should be able to lift your toes off the ground. And lastly, moving into our goblet side lunge. So you can either hold the kettlebell up by the handles or flip it upside down like I'm doing and hold it by the actual bell. So whichever leg has been doing the work this whole time, it's going to be the one bending and working in the side lunge as well. Keep your other leg nice and straight. I like to step out with my supporting leg and lunge down on my working leg. If you prefer, you can step out with your working leg and lunge down to that side. Okay, awesome job with all of that. We're moving into the second side. So if you started by holding the kettlebell on your right side, hold it on the left now. And we're doing all those same five exercises, starting with the split squat. So I messed this up a couple of times. Make sure that whichever side you're holding the kettlebell in, that leg is propped up on the chair or on the elevated surface behind you. And your opposite leg is the one working, not letting the knee go past the toes. Nice flat back, rib cage tucked in and tailbone tucked under. Next, moving into our Romanian deadlift, so keep the kettlebell in that same hand. Your opposite leg stays on the ground. The leg on the same side as the kettlebell is raising up behind you as you hinge forward. Knee bends slightly, nice flat back, and the kettlebell staying close to that working leg. Not too far out in front because that puts extra strain on your lower back. Keep your hips nice and square, make sure you're not turning out at all, and also keep your shoulders square. Lats engaged, shoulders back and down. And now going into a reverse lunge. Kettlebell stays in the same hand. Whichever leg was lifting off the ground, that leg is now stepping backwards into the lunge. Nose over the toes to keep most of your weight in that front leg and a nice flat back. Next, coming into a hip thrust. So again, use a chair or a couch. It should make contact just below the shoulder blades. Whichever leg has been up in the air this whole time is gonna be up in the air again for this exercise. Working the same side of the body for all five of these exercises, knees together, and as you push up, squeeze that glute, driving through the heel, 
If you find that most of your weight is in your toes, scoot your foot slightly away from your body. From your hips up to the top of your head, your body is in one straight line. And lastly on this side, doing a goblet side lunge. So holding the kettlebell by the handles, or like me, holding it upside down by the actual bell, and stepping out with either your supporting or working leg, bending that working leg, lunging low, keeping your back nice and flat. Holding the kettlebell slightly away from your body, not letting it rest on your chest at all. Awesome job, that was one round done. We have two left. So switch hands and we're starting over from split squats. Hold the front of the handle and rack it so your hand should be at about collarbone height, your elbow down and slightly forward, not resting the kettlebell against your chest at all. It'll be resting against the outside of your upper and lower arm. Whichever hand you're holding the kettlebell in, that same side leg comes up to rest on that elevated surface. Try to squat down as low as you can, preferably so that the top of your thigh is parallel to the ground. Moving into a Romanian deadlift. Kettlebell stays in the same arm. Your opposite leg stays on the ground as the other leg sweeps back while you hinge forward, staying in a nice straight line with the rest of your body. Bending the knee slightly and pulling your hips backwards as you hinge forward so that the kettlebell stays close to that working leg. And then squeezing your glutes to pull yourself back up. Whichever leg was up in the air in that Romanian deadlift is now going to step backwards into your reverse lunge. Keep your lats engaged, shoulders down and back. Nose over your toes. You should be able to look down and see your knee and your toes right past it. Okay, moving back into the hip thrust. This one for me turned out to be the most difficult exercise of the five. Rest the kettlebell on your working leg, whichever leg was in the air the whole time is in the air again for this, knees together, and from your hips to your head, your upper body stays in one straight line as you push up, full extension, and lower slowly back down. Awesome job with that, and now moving into our last exercise on this side, the goblet side lunge. Holding the weight up in front of you, shoulders down and back, and lunging down on that working leg. Same leg that's been putting in the effort for the last four exercises. Great job, we're halfway through the workout. Moving into round two on the opposite side, starting with the split squats. So hold the front of the handle of the kettlebell, rack it, keep a nice strong position with your arm here, and whichever side the kettlebell is in, that same leg is rising backwards to rest on the elevated surface. You're working the opposite leg. Remember to keep a nice wide stance here so your knee doesn't go past your toes. Moving into our deadlift, keep the kettlebell in that same hand and hinge forward at the hips, raising that same side leg up as your upper body lowers, hinging forward and bending the knee slightly, and then contracting the glute to pull yourself back to standing. Hips are square, shoulders are square, everything in one nice straight line. And now that same leg that was in the air is stepping back into a reverse lunge. You should be able to look down and see your knee and see your toes just past it. Keep your nose over your toes. And remember those lats. Shoulders stay back and down. Whichever side you're holding the kettlebell in, rest it on the opposite hip as we get into our single leg hip thrust. Driving through the heel and keeping a nice flat back, getting full extension. I know this one's tough, but you got this. We're here for 30 seconds. Keep going.
great job and just finishing off this side round two with the goblet side lunge holding the kettlebell up high and lunging down on that working leg nice flat back shoulders down and back rib cage tucked in almost done with round two Great job, we just have one more round to go, starting again with the split squat. Stay strong. Remember to keep your elbow down and slightly forward. The kettlebell is resting on your arm. The side that you're holding the kettlebell in, that's the same leg that's going to extend backwards up onto the elevated surface. Try to squat down so low that the top of your thigh is parallel to the ground, but don't compromise form. Keep that back flat. Coming into our last Romanian deadlift on this side. Whichever foot was back for the split squat is lifting up off the ground as you hinge forward. Bend the knee slightly, pull the hips back, keeping the kettlebell close to that working leg. Lats engaged. Great job, whichever leg was coming off the ground is now stepping backwards into the reverse lunge. Nose over the toes. Take a nice big step back so that your knee stays above your toes, not going past them. And keep most of your weight in that front leg. Coming into our last hip thrust on that side. Whichever leg has been working this whole time, that leg will stay on the ground, put the kettlebell on that hip, drive up through the heel, nice flat back, upper body all moving together. And then coming into our last goblet side lunge on this side, holding the kettlebell up at chest height and lunging down on that same working leg, making sure you maintain a nice flat back, especially the upper back in this one. Great job, we just have one side to go. So rack the kettlebell and lift that same foot up and back onto that elevated surface as your opposite leg is working. Squat down as low as you can while maintaining great form. And stay strong, you're almost done. Awesome job, finished with that one. Coming into our Romanian deadlift, keep the kettlebell in that same hand, and that same leg is lifting up behind you while you hinge forward on the opposite leg. Try to hinge all the way forward so that you get that kettlebell to the ground, but again, never sacrifice form, so keep your body in one nice straight line from your head down to your toes. As you bring yourself up, make sure you squeeze the glute of your working leg and keep your hips square and your shoulders square. Moving into our last reverse lunge, taking a nice wide step back and leaning forward, keeping most of your weight in that front leg, shoulders back. Right, this is our last single leg hip thrust. That same working leg stays on the ground. Go ahead and place the kettlebell on that hip and pushing up through your heel. Make sure your body is like a seesaw on the bench or on the chair, whatever surface you're propped against. Try to get full extension here. I know you're tired. This is the last one of these. And then we have one exercise left.
Great job, we only have the goblet side lunge left. Holding the kettlebell up high by the handles or upside down and lunging down on that same working leg. You're almost finished, this is the last 30 seconds. Keep the kettlebell slightly away from your body, don't let it rest on your chest and keep your shoulders back, maintaining a nice flat back. And you're finished. Awesome job. I know that was a tough one, but way to push through for 15 minutes of lower body. I love unilateral movements, so this is one of my favorite workouts to do so far. If you haven't checked out my other videos, go do that. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so, and I'll see you in the next workout.